So let's uh, review how to uh, validate UPC codes. Uh, remember, there were two types of questions uh, with the U UPC codes. One, you had to show that the number was valid, and the other one, to uh, determine a check digit number to make it valid. So let's take a look at the first one. Now, um, in order for a number to be valid, uh, the sum, after applying the pattern, must end in zero. Sum end in zero. What I mean by that is the total sum has, the last digit has to be a zero. So, like 20, 30, 40, any uh, number, um, basically divisible by 10. So if you remember the UPC pattern, it was uh, the more simple pattern. Uh, you multiply the first digit by 3, second by 2, third by 3, I mean by 1, uh, the third by 3, uh, fourth by 1, and just alternate that pattern every other one. 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, one. So we want to apply that pattern. Uh, the first is zero, and then you add them together once you multiply them. The second is five. The third is 27, nine times three, plus one, plus zero, plus another zero plus 12, oops, that's not 12, that's 11, uh, 3, uh, 9, 2, Eighteen, and the last amount is three. Now, the biggest thing here is just to stay organized. As you can see, it's very easy to uh, miss a number and lose track where you are, and that's where most mistakes uh, get made because you're really never going to know once you get a total here if you're right or wrong. So making a mistake somewhere in the middle will never really be caught. You'll just either say, yes, it's valid, or no, it's valid, or no, it's not invalid. So... And then when you add all this up in the calculator, and I would just say go slow and check it twice. Make sure you get the same sum both times. And this all added up into the calculator to be 80. Now, since the sum of all of those uh, values added up to a number ending in zero, you would say, yes, it's valid because it ends in zero. and you're done. So that's how you validate a UPC code. Now, here's a UPC code that we don't know what the check digit is. Remember the final digit is the check digit number. In the top one it was three and it was given to us. In the bottom one it's not given to us and we have to find a value that will make it valid, meaning that it ends in zero. So again we apply the pattern three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, and uh, we're going to find a number that would uh, make it end in zero once we're done. So we're going to go nine, six, three, three, fifteen, zero. Zero, four, six, one, nine. Add all this up, and you'll get used to just ignoring the zeros. Obviously, when you add a zero, nothing happens. So, when you add all this up, this comes up to uh, fifty six plus what will give us 60, the next 
digit, or the next, yeah, the next value that ends in zero would be a 60. Uh, so 56 plus what would be four? So D would have equal four to make the UPC value. And so there you have it. Those are the both style of questions you need to answer with the uh, UPC codes. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.